What is going on guys? Welcome back to Starfield. We are continuing it where we left off in the last one. So, we're, I think we're in our new ship, um, actually. Um, yeah, we are. We're in our new ship. I couldn't actually remember where we left off. Um, it's been a week. Uh, we started up a new series as well on the channel. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Um, but yeah, what we're actually going to do um, this week is we're actually going to do some wrap up of stuff. Um, like we've had some missions which we've had in our inventory or in our mission board for a while. I want to start getting these down. Um, not for any particular reason, just that I think it might be a wise idea just to, you know, just decrease our mission board a little bit. So I think we're going to um, hit it off with this. Um, we need to go talk to somebody, I believe, uh, Tequila City. Um, so yeah, we'll start off with this one. And uh, yeah, we'll just start working our way down. We'll do this one next. I'm not sure what we're doing with this one. Oh, that's Lieutenant Toft. It's um, from the UC Vigilance. And we need to hand stuff in to her. But um, I don't think we've got anything else for her. But yeah, once we've done that, we'll maybe move down to here, down to Loose Ends. Uh, then Captain's Bounty down here and a few others. Then we'll start tidying up a little bit, I think. So, yeah, we'll start with this one. We'll use our new shiny ship. We'll uh, we'll start taking her around and everything like that. We also need to actually, like, take, like, the, the structural material back to our um, our main office and stuff. But uh, our main office, our main um, base. Um, we do have on boards, we have the, uh, this thing. Uh, so we can, and I fact, we've got any. Yeah, we don't have any more, but that's where we put them. Throw on our part of our ship. Just because we need to jump away, we can. And uh, I guess that's in the pilot seat and let's head on out. I think we flew this thing back end of last episode, I think. Anyway, let's take off and um, yeah, let's, let's do it. Bigger ship, bigger crew. I've also figured out which um, skills I need to get more crew as well. Assigned. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Be nice to at least be able to assign more crew, but uh, I know where that skill is now. I've actually had a look, actually before I start recording. This so right here is my catnip. Orbit reach. Right. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you guys. Um, actually, why does it sound like we've only got like one person on board? We shouldn't just have one person on board. We should have uh, we should have quite a few. We've got Barrett, Sam, Core, Doran, Fan. Drasia is unassigned. Yeah, we can't assign anybody else. Uh, like, I really want to say, like, Vasco, probably Andrasia. Um, those two can stay on the outposts. Um, but yeah, we need at least two more. Um, but I'll show you guys the skill. If Just in case you guys are playing along or want to know or, or anything. Uh, it's actually the skill right here. Uh, so yeah, we we need uh, at least maybe one and two, I think. Four active, yeah, five active. Yeah, so we'll need like these two skills. Um, but what we need to actually do is we actually need to spend two more skill points in this tree. Um, we've got one currently, but. Uh, I, I just don't know what else I want to go in here, but I guess what we'll do is work towards this next. Uh, I think just because getting that little bit of extra crew on board might actually help us out. I think it's a good idea too, so yeah. Anyway, let's uh, head off to Aquila, shall we? Uh, also, we've got no um, contraband cargo hold on this either, so I think I need to uh, maybe just get a skill for that to where I can actually put on some shield of cargo. Might be a good idea. Alright. Go ahead and jump. Another thing as well. Wait until this loads and then I'll talk again. Actually, we'll talk now. Um, as you guys can probably hear, I'm not sounding so well. Um, if you guys have been watching along with... Uh, 
a weather let's play which we just started up recently. Right, you're good. Um, Welcome to Aquila City. You guys will already know I had a really bad cold uh, the last week. <laughs> I've struggled uh, to get along. I do have a cough if um, if I don't manage to hit the mute microphone button. And I cough and then I forget to edit it out. I do apologize in advance. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, go land at Aquila City. It looks like we're on the night side of the planet. And uh, we'll land and um, we'll find this guy. I guess we picked this mission up a while ago. I don't remember picking it up, so. It'd be nice. I like playing this game, it's like proper chill as well. Like, to be fair, like the new series we just started up, if you guys haven't checked it out, the smell of recommend lumber, it. Crops and chunks? Yes, that is chunks. <laughs> So I coughed and laughed there at the same time. Like really on my chest right now though, which is uh, not so good. And uh, I forgot to take tablets a couple of hours ago, so when I, when I was recording the other series, which is ongoing currently, completely forgot to take the tablets um, in the middle of actually recording and now I don't feel so great. <laughs> I'm just waiting for those to kick in. To be fair, I took them a good, uh, a good 30 Mr. minutes ago, but they haven't taken full effect yet. Like, they are taking effect, I can feel it, but I'm not all the way there yet. Oh, this place is actually way out in the corner of the uh, keeler, eh? Alright. Oh, I remember this. I don't know if we've actually been here before. What's actually our mission here? Talk to. Well, let's have a chat, shall we? Oh, the person we want to talk to is sleeping. Wakey, wakey! Hello there. You've Thank got rain God. coming into your shack. I thought, I thought the Shaw Gang was going to kill all the hostages in the bank. You were amazing. Thank you. Oh, okay. This is all the way back when we took out the Shaw Gang. Okay. Yeah, this was a long time ago when we were at Aquila. Damn. Um, I wish I could have saved uh, the manager. Um, I won't rescue you so much. Um, I wish I could have saved uh, the manager. I thought for sure all of us would die. Please, don't beat yourself up over it. Listen, I, I have nothing. Less than nothing. My family moved here from Sidonia, hoping for a better life. <laughs> Sometimes I just feel cursed. And I... I could live with that if it was just me. But Simone? And little Liv? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that your family got... Uh, it's so rough. Um, it's a bad... Uh, as bad as things are, Aquila City uh, is uh, a little better than. Um, I'm sorry to hear about your family. Um, got it so rough. Yeah. So many people here look past my family being UC and are just like that. Kind. A real sense of community. I just need a job and we could be happy here. Sorry, I... Uh, you should feel good, super good, about what you did at Galbank. You want to talk about anything? Guess we can talk to him some more. Even after all this time, we're still living hand to mouth. Nothing ever changes, no matter how hard I try. Uh, how are you... Uh, sorry, how are things going uh, for you? <sighs> Moving out here costs a lot. Now we're barely getting by. It's impossible to save up anything so Liv can have a future. Truth is, I was a fool to think anything would change. Now Simone and I barely talk and Liv. <laughs> That's even worse. You know what the worst thing for a parent is? To look into your child's eyes and see pity. That's how you know you've hit a rock bottom. Uh, what made you leave uh, Caldonia? 
Got tired of living under the boot. The UC always tells you what to do and how to do it. If you're down, they want to keep you there. I thought maybe hard work and patience would lead to better things. But it became clear that that was never going to happen. The only way out was to leave the UC behind. So I brought the family here. Things aren't much better. But at least I don't have the piglets breathing down my neck anymore. I'd like to help uh, you and your family. We've been given as much charity as I can stomach. Without the low house... I mean, there's something. But it's a hell of a thing to ask. I really mean it. Uh, I want to help you. Um, I'm curious what... Um, um, I, I really mean it. I want to help you. As dark as things are, there are so many good people out there. Simone, my wife, has got a cousin, Milena Exelrod. Truthfully, I never much cared for Milena. But she runs freight, and I know her routes sometimes take her this way. Milena's family. Might be she'd do something for her kin. I'm looking for a job, and I'll do anything. Well, anything legal. Milena's United Colonies, like us, and I know she's got problems of her own with Aquila City. I got a ship. Uh, could, uh, shouldn't be a problem to talk to. Um, what's her problems with Aquila City? Uh, she clams up the times I've asked. Not even Simone knows. I'm sure she's run afoul of the law somehow. That's kind of how she operates. Um... I have got a ship. Shouldn't be a problem to talk to her. <sighs> you are an answer to our prayers. Milena called Simone yesterday. I'm pretty sure she's still in the system. Just giving me any hope. It's a lot. Alright, let's go meet up. See what we can find. I'm saving up to see the alien extravaganza. Oh yeah? Things I would do to actually be on another planet. <laughs> I think we're heading back to our ship anyway. Yeah, we are. We'll go by foot. It's fine. We're doing a lot of things on foot recently. Like, uh, the new game we just started up, that's all on foot. Um, hopefully, shouldn't be on foot on that game for much longer. Um... As of you guys are watching this. We all want to protect people from the Ashton. We're on the same side here. Great, we just got another mission. This ain't the way things are done. And that's the end of it. With due respect, I have repeatedly explained that I do not need permission. I came to you in the spirit of cooperation, but if this is the reaction. Always. Why are you trying to fix something that ain't broken? Mr. Wilson, we can deal with the ash to better, safer. We didn't turn down fire or a space flight because we managed just fine until that point. I will not be talked down to like this. Okay. Miss Alpin, please don't take any further action until we've had some time to think this over. All right? We need to be smarter. Better in the way we handle the Ashta. We'll come back to that. Um, I'll probably, end, if I don't put it in this episode, I'll probably put it back in at some point. If I remember, that is. The amount of times I actually remember to do that is, uh, well, slim. I might be the last time. You might be here this once and then that's it. Might come back after this mission here and uh, I might do that one. Just because it's a local. Uh, if I remember rightly, our onboard point is over here. Alright. Um, we're just going to flash out to the cockpit. We're not going to go through the ship every time now. Our ship's starting to get bigger and bigger now. Like, uh, Always a satisfying moment. It's Return a long way to, to walk and climb and stuff like that. Anyway, let's take off. Go find uh well this lady's name is. I don't really 
remember. I just realized my game is way too loud for my ears right now. Hey Dad, want to hear a joke? Uh, sure. Sweet Yo, man, can I that thing actually looks really nice taking off, I'm not gonna lie. I just need some shielded cargo. Even if it is just a little bit. Okay. Who can jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? Alright, where's our Everybody. mission? Everybody! Skyscrapers can't jump! <laughs> Such a goofy laugh. Okay. Good one. Oh, we actually uh, meet up with. Hey, next time you see Barrett, try it out on him. Is it movies on the planet? Uh, where's our current mission then? I missed where he said. Where's our actual mission? Meet up with. Uh Is in the Aquila system. All right. Is that ship's name, sorry? Uh I did it about developing the no, sorry, sorry, reading the wrong mission now. Um contact his cousin. Uh Okay, so What I want. Kill them. You're on comms. Something up? Let's trade. Like, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for or where this person would even be. Appointments to be made, but I can spare a moment. Really, I'm just spinning around trying to find the person I'm looking for. Girl Bank. Three star. Three star. Girl Bank. Well, that's a fancy ship. There's something you need. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for here. It feels like I'm missing something. It's good, just, let's just go land back at Aquila. Unless if the person I'm looking for is actually on Aquila, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'm a little stuck, right now. Might have to go back to talk to the guy just to see where she is, I have no idea. Unless if she literally is local. These people claim to be independent, yet they still crowd together behind walls. Yeah, I think we literally need to be on board our ship right there. Let me just uh, quickly Google the mission. Just to figure out um, where this person is, because uh, I have no idea. Where we're actually going. Now, to be honest with you, I was paying attention to the um I was paying attention uh, with dialogue and stuff, but I, d I wasn't paying that much attention. I 
I'm just wa uh, having a quick look now. Okay. It looks like where we need to go is uh, another planet. Maybe for whatever reason it just didn't pop for me. They went over here. Con to this map. Right, let me board then. way up to the cockpit. That's where they went, so let's give that a go. Uh, do I need to go up another floor? I should... Oh, right here, Joe. I can't remember where the damn ladders were. It's been a minute. Please forgive me. <laughs> yeah, getting all the way up here now is... Uh, I still want to actually build my other ship as well, so... I might do that. I think first things first, we need to do missions and get to the things up first, right? Let's uh, let's take off. Let's go see if we can maybe spot that planet and see what we can find. Might be a good idea. Ready here. But yeah, if you guys actually watched um, the first episode of the new series I'm putting out at the minute, um, you could actually hear how not very well I was in that first episode. It sort of picked up by seconds. Third and fourth was uh, getting a bit better as well. Anyway, right, let's head to... That's not where I wanted. I wanted to go there. And let's, uh, let's head to this planet right here. Travel. Might be the first bit of combat we do in this as well, so we we'll might check it out. Right, let's uh, slow it down. What was that? He just went blurry there for a minute. There again. Just the. Oh, it's the sun, I think. Not the sun, but the star. Oh no, someone's jumping in over there, look. Oh, this is where the, uh, the guys were. Maybe he's... Might have been there. Might have been this moon here. Right, let's uh, set course there. Let's go there, see what we can find. I'm just determined to find places. See what we can find. Other than jumping all over the giant, I have no idea. Got some crates over here we can pull. Other than that, this looks fairly... Fairly unhostile. After this, I have no idea where we can go. Give the engines a bit more power. Get us moving a bit quicker. I think having the weapons like that is uh, probably a good idea, but let's boost. Right, doesn't look like there's anybody here. We'll do is we'll scan the planet anyway. 
Right, I guess what we'll do is we'll maybe jump uh, here then. See if there's anything here. I have no idea. Where are we supposed to go? Who's this? Stab on. Should we take them on? Yeah, I think we should. Do it. You know, let's jump out of here, but. Oh, no. Right, we need to move. Yeah, there's too many of them. Like three of them. Uh, see, question: Do we have this, uh, this part of the moon scanned? No, we do now. Now you can't travel while in combat. I think that was right. Okay, we need to jump out here and come back then. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll jump out here. Jump. Move everything out of engines. Set everything in jump drive. There we go, good. Burn some helium 3. to dock. Seals are tight, we're docked. Alright, it's bored. What I have no idea what we're doing in this mission, so... They know this shit better than we do. Oh, okay. Well, I think I knocked the, uh, the gravity down. We're out. Clear. Hold on a second. Grenades. Um, what did I just do? I have no idea what I just did. Have you lost your mind? Is there even a mind to lose? Um... I have no idea what you're talking about. You cannot possibly mean that! You have murdered an innocent person! You cannot do that! Oh shit, did I... Hmm, okay. Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll reload a save. Right, give me two seconds, because I think I killed somebody who I shouldn't have. My bad. Right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, okay, well, I managed to hit some of the dialogue and stuff. I, I don't know what I was doing wrong there. Um, what made Andresia so mad. Um, so we just left the ship. We're just going to leave the ship. That's it. Uh, right, let's go jump back to uh, the system we were just in. And uh, try and find... Uh, try and find this these people. I have no idea where they are. I think we set course for here. We just do a jump. I have no idea what we just did to upset her so bad. Um, I try and persuade her, like just to figure out what was going on, and um, yeah, she didn't like it. So um, we did nothing on board that ship. We just left. We loaded the ship and then left. I'm not seeing the people I'm looking for. I have no idea where we need to go. Not a clue. Right, let me Google it. Okay, so um, I figured out where we need to go. Um, it's actually not this, um, not this planet. It's the another planet. So um, we have two of these planets in the well, actually three of them in the system. It's actually this one over here we need to go to, and uh, actually this moon right here. So. Yeah, we'll set course, and then we'll travel. Now that I've figured out which planet it is. <laughs> wow. Now we should be on track. Alright, 500 credits is going to our parents. Not bad. Alright, and then apparently we just need to... Uh, I think go to the Lennon Zone, I think. Mining outpost. I think it's this one right here. Head there. I think you just go to this mining outpost and then our objective should be here, I think. According to my guide, I just read. I'm gonna say it's a long way down though for us to get uh, to get out. It's an awful long way down. Um, I actually just need to let's just have a quick chat with her. There is no one I would rather see right now. Yeah. She seems to be alright with us, which is weird because she went from not really being alright with us to... Scripture over there. There's a mine outpost over there. An old structure. An old structure. I'm just checking out for the structures, right, but we'll head over here. Alright. See what the gravity and everything is on this planet. Okay, so the temperature on this planet is minus 214 degrees Celsius. We got 0 02, the gravity is 0.44. Wow. Very low gravity, eh? I think it's the lowest we've ever been on on a planet. Definitely. Definitely up there. Anyway, here's the mining outpost. Silver. That's got everything, eh? Someone felt it was lucrative to build an entire facility for mining. I don't blame them. I'll 
be stealing. We're not going to start stealing. I'm just looking around for all of the uh, the cool stuff. All of the cool kids are going to have all, have all the good stuff, right? Keep away from the equipment. We don't have a medical staff. Ah, good job I do. Open hatch. I think we're going here. Too cool to be safe for sure. I don't know how many more of these contracts I have. Need some credits, newcomer? Got something I could use a hand with. Scanners picked up some mineral deposits in a cave nearby. We need some boots on the ground to verify the scan. Then get a taste of the minerals. Make sure it's worth sending a work crew. Whatever you can carry out is all yours. We just need to scan anything you find. Sure. Why not? Why would he? That's here? terrific. What a room, right? Okay, so map update. It looks like we need to go over there. To meet this lady. It's not where I thought it was. And Jojo, we're going back out. Put your suit back on. We're heading out. an entrance to a mine here somewhere? I'm just not seeing. Well, this way by the looks of it. Our objective's there, but how do we get into it though? Not being helpful. We need to find a way into this mine. Am I just not finding it here or what? Am I being that blind? Did I not just not see the entrance of the mine while I was over here? Probably not. Looks like this is just like a straight up grill of mine. Not entrance to a mine. Must be taking us back that way. Guess what we'll do is we'll have a look in through the window. See if I can figure out a way into the mine or into a mine. No, no. How the hell does one get in to that place right there? Meet up with that person. That's how me go back towards my ship. Let me just go back towards my ship just in case. And then the net meets. Why is that telling me over here? Just reboard, just in case I need to go somewhere. Let me just reread my guide, because this does not make any sense to me. Do you think the documentary about your life will be made into yeah, so according to this, when we get to the location we should be ambushed by three Crimson Fleet. Yeah, we, we haven't been ambushed by three Crimson Fleet whatsoever. So... I don't. I have a feeling we're in the wrong place. Again. Oh, this episode's actually really turned into an absolute trade show, eh? 
have no idea where I'm supposed to be going here. Hi. It's time to get back into the chair. So I guess what we'll do is we'll get back into the chair and we'll try and find where we're supposed to be going because I have no idea. Sometimes I like the yellow brick road, but not right now. Achieved. Okay, guys, I've actually done some more scouting and um, actually reread over everything. Figured out where we need to go now. Right, so apparently um, she's in orbit of Aquila's moon. That happens to be this one right here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll travel here. We should get a cutscene or a marker, and then I think we've got to go to that planet next, I think. There we go, there's the Crimson Fleet. Right, dump fire. our ship parts and stuff like that we took a little bit of a beating um, I'm not sure about the the weapons to be fair might need to switch some of those out and there's another one here we can just take those four right, I think she said that we can go board right actually while we're here can we scan the planet of course we can there we go Let's go on board then, shall we? Ooh, it's very close. Let me just nudge them. Oh well. Well, this mission took a, a while for me to figure out what we need to do, so. We're docked. Alright, let's, um. Let's just put straight up on board. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? I think so, right? Where are we actually going here? We are going... Oh, right here. Hey there, how are you doing? Oh, if fighting the fleet doesn't get the juices flowing, you're doing it wrong. <sighs> it's supposed to be safe around here, but Cheyenne has always been just a giant bastard to me. Oh, <clears throat> unless you're a native. In which case, oh my god, I love what you've done with the place. Um, so you enjoy fighting pirates? No, not one bit. I enjoy surviving fighting pirates. Big difference. Um, I get you with that. I swear, every time I come through here, something goes to shit. But it always calls me back. Take now. I'm just supposed to be doing some deliveries and whammo! Pirates! Cheyenne's going to get me one of these days. Um, this guy sent me. Um, his family is in uh, dire financials uh, and needs your help. Yeah. Ha! I knew it! I knew it! Damon should have told me. Her and Marco are so damned proud. I'd love to help them out. Might be I've got a <laughs> checkered history with the fine city of Aquila. If you clear up any lingering hard feelings, then I could resume doing business there. I'd set up Stick Up As Marco as my official importer. Then wins all around. Um, how do you get uh, blacklisted uh, at Aquila? I used to do cargo hauls for the mayor. 
and he got really upset that I might have been carrying more than I ought to. We had some words, maybe one fat lip, not mine, and now I'm persona non grata. Tell me how we clear up, uh, things up. Well, two paths, I see. The trade authorities got a fixer named Tom Starrett. He might be able to facilitate things. Or Mayor Cartwright. Got that windbag. Well, <laughs> if he'd take a sorry, that would work. Fat chance. Either way, I expect credits will be on the line. On the back end, I could afford to give you a taste of the action. Not sure it'll cover the fees. The trade authority might be the better bet. I might try talking to the mayor. Um, it's already more than I signed up for. Trade authorities uh, might be the best bet. Ah, <sighs> music to my ears, friend. Marco doesn't deserve you, but Simone, she's one of the good ones. You square things away. Just let Marco know. All right, let's head back to Aquila then, shall we? Just go straight to the cockpit. This is going to be easier doing it this way. Oh, it's on dark. Yeah, so once we've actually figured out where the hell we need to go to talk to this lady, yeah. Ship's detached. We're clear. All right, let's um, let's head back to uh, Aquila then. Which is literally the planet right next door. We'll do a quick travel instead of going there, getting off, landing, yeah. Trade authority, I think it's the best bet. Yeah, it's going to cost me credits, but hey. I've got plenty of credits to throw around. I can lose a couple of credits here and there. Okay, so I can uh Your bad. I don't know which one we want to do here. I think it's uh so whichever one's the trade authority. It doesn't actually tell you on the thing which one's the trade authority, so I'm guessing we'll have to take a bet. This one might be the mayor. Just keep your gun holstered during your stay. Have a chat here and see what this says first. I hope Aquila is treating you nicely. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Oh, sure. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. Uh, the founder? Ah, that'd be Solomon Coe, who stuck a shovel in the ground right here over 160 years ago. That first settlement grew to become the city you see today. And let me tell you, it was no small hardship to make that dream a reality. Yes, indeed, this place has a proud and noble history. Why, for some of us, it's practically hallowed ground. That's why I like to meet each and every person who comes here, to make sure they know what a special place our city is. I appreciate that, thanks. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. Um, can you tell me more about the core? Why not? The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Coe. The descendants of the original settlers 
still make their home there today. Okay. Uh, where can I get a drink around here? You've got a few choices there. The cantina in the rock is famed throughout the settled systems for serving the best brew that credits can buy. The hitching post ain't been open long, but most folks seem to like it. If you're looking for a quick drink before moving on, give it a try. Aggie's is a bit of an acquired taste, you might say. Folks who prefer a venue that's a little more rough and tumble tend to feel at home there. Like I said, lots of options. Uh, why does the city need a wall around it? You really are new around here, aren't you? Aquila is every bit as dangerous as it is beautiful. There are creatures out there that pose a mortal danger to anyone caught out in the open. Foremost among them is the Ashta. They're quick, strong, clever, and dab good hunters. I'd tell you more, but you might not sleep so good. Thankfully, the wall keeps them out. As long as you stay on the right side of it, you've got nothing to worry about. Um, what's the tall building in the center of town? Ah, you must be referring to The Rock. It's home to the largest and oldest cantina in town. That's also where the Council of Governors holds its occasional strategy meetings. As mayor of the city, I have a seat on the council. The Free Star Rangers oh, are headquartered in the upper floors. They've got the best view of the city. I like to think that means they're always keeping an eye on the rest of us. I have to say, I sleep a little easier knowing the Marshal and his Rangers are up there protecting the Free Star Collective. I'm a member of them. Uh, what about Midtown? Midtown's where most of the business and trading gets done. It's not as old as the core, because it was built later as the city grew. As the name might suggest, Wallside's the district that runs along the inside of the Great Wall that surrounds the city. It's mostly farmers and other laborers that live down there. They ain't got quite as much space, but it's cheaper, so it all works out. Tell me more about Frank. Nice no weather we're having, no? Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hussanov Manor. And he's the worst. Simply the worst. But it's been a problem since the Hosono family ran out of heirs. There's a no wrong that Cartwright's been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. I can't tell if that was sarcasm, what he just said there. Where he's like, oh, nice weather we're having. It's absolutely pissing it down. <laughs> uh, what's so wrong with uh, Frank? He's just another slick, rude, neon corporate hack full of himself and just awful i mean the core is history itself cats like him don't belong here um i'm always happy to set things right um let's go with that one i was right to talk to you about this the last hosanov was sahar sad tale there <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate, built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashta overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hosanovs. Can you tell me about the Hosanovs? The Hosanovs were one of the early families that took to making a living in space. Very industrious, mainly miners. They settled Planetside in the earliest days of Aquila City. They helped good old Solomon Co. a time or two, but they didn't fare well living in full gravity after a couple of generations in Zero G. Lots of health issues. Eventually, a string of just terrible luck left only lonely old Sahar Hosanov. Poor lady. And those that were healthy kept leaving Aquila. The call of the stars. Sounds like uh, the poor old uh, um, wanted to go out on their own terms. A lot of folks thought the same. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Aquila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, 
That would be a bonus. Um, how will I find uh, her will? Um, how, sorry, I will find her will change anything. Sahar left no heirs, no instructions. So everything the Hassanogs owned was in limbo. What happened to the estate? Well, you'd have to be a lawyer to make heads or tails of it. But eventually it wound up on the open market. So slick neon corporate shills could grace our community. If she named any heir, we could get the estate back where it belongs. See things made right. I think this is going to start with a whole nother quest line for us here. I I'm happy to help. You are a blessing. Zahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful. Look out for yourself. Right, we might have to come back to this one eventually. But uh, for now, let's continue with our main mission. Like I said, be careful. I'd rather you forget the whole Hasanov business rather than getting hurt. Right, let's a go genuine have a chat with the other people first. We'll come back to him eventually. Go down to the trade authority. If I have to, I can get a price from... Oh, that hurt a bit. I need more than a moment to walk that off. That actually probably hurt a little bit too much. <laughs> Alright. To bring out a price from either off. Right, let's talk to this guy here. Who I believe is the... Something or other. Bounty hunter, pretty much. Um, oh, he's a fixer. So what does a fixer do uh, exactly do? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I want to get uh, permission uh, to do business in Aquila City. Milena wants back. The trade authority always likes facilitating business, but she's got a considerable bounty on her. Captains associated with us can land here. I even have some credentials on hand. And wouldn't you know it, the captain's name is Blank. If she had set credentials and put her name on them, well, she couldn't land. But if any other name was in there, any name at all, well, I think that might clear it up. Alright, so, uh, we can pay a thousand credits, I could always uh, use some extra credentials. Um, and the authorities uh, wouldn't care. The trade authority has a separate arrangement. As long as a hypothetical captain kept the low profile, why she could do business here indefinitely. She should talk with us. We have a lot of common ground. Let's just play the... the um, right, let's just hold off on that. I want to go talk to... Um, what's his face up here again? I just want to go see what his... is. So that's a thousand credits. I can afford a thousand credits. That's not so bad, to be fair. It's, I just want to see what his answer is going to be on it. Can I turn around and go? Wow, oh, hundred dollars, uh, hundred credits. I wish my granddad was still with us. What happened to the Hasanovs never sat right with him. Um, let's ask him a question. Milena Axelrod. I wished I'd never heard that name again. She's a menace. She punched me in the face. Can you imagine? Why would yeah, you want to let her back here? Um, is she really that bad? Yes. Maybe. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, she ran cargo for me for years. I even considered her a friend. But she stabbed me in the back. Well, not literally. But I swore to keep her banned for life. If uh, we help her, her family um, might uh, escape. Some, um, yeah, let's do that. What? Oh, that, that's terrible. Listen, I feel for the uh, Jansons. If it was just the fisticuffs, I could look the other way. But we caught her smuggling red-handed. She's been blacklisted for good reason. But legally, if you pay off a bounty... I can't stop her from coming back, but we'll be watching her. Five thousand credits. Um, let's just try the persuading quickly. Um, 
she was smuggling? Uh, let's ask the question. I want I want all the answers first. Yes. Honestly, I can't remember exactly what the cargo was. It was years ago. But I do remember getting sucker punched. <laughs> um, right, let's persuade. Let's see if we can get the price down. I'd like to think that, but... Uh, I know you'd like to help me if you could. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm... I uh, have it, um... Look, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Um... Try that one. Look, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Well, if you say so. Um... I know you'd like to help me if you could. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I'm glad you're starting to come around. Uh, what's the problem here? Come on. Yeah, let's try that. I'm oh. asking the questions here. I just think it's a bad idea. If you pay her bounty, legally I can't stop you. Um, Try the free star ranger thing. You'd go that far for her? Fine. Fine. She can come back. I just hope you don't regret it. I did, last time I trusted her. There we go, I just pulled me away with as a freestyle ranger. Right. That wasn't so bad. And I accidentally just hit the grenade button right there. Right as I walked away, instead of pressing this one to yeah, activate nice the now. scanner. Yeah, I accidentally hit the grenade one. I'm so glad I took the grenades off. But wow, what a mission this one was. This was sort of um, like, oh yeah, she's out there so I go find her. Type of thing. And she wasn't easy to find either. Pretty good mission though. I've actually really enjoyed this mission. Even though it's been, I'm going to have to chop it down a bit. But it's been fun. We've also got ourselves a lot of other missions. Please don't bring up Milena to Shiko. The whole thing is a long shot. Milena contacted me. She's making me her official importer. I'm not sure how much it pays, but I'll take it. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, just be careful. Um, Milena's uh, been caught smuggling before. Um, I'm just going to say uh, be careful. Um, she's been caught smuggling before. I figured it might be something like that. I'll make sure to keep my distance from any of that. I can't wait to tell Simone. This is the first ray of sunshine we've seen in years. Nice chunk of credits. And I'm quite happy with that. Uh, now we just need to go speak with Sam Core as an activity, but uh, yeah, we're not going to do that yet. Um, I think what we'll do next, though... Uh, Um, I want to try and find that mining job we just got and go do that quickly. Um, to be fair, we're over on time, but it's fine. We'll find it here. I've heard that. No. Oh, I can't remember where it was or what mission it was. All right, you know what? In between this episode and next, I'll figure it out and we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, this has actually been a good one. I've actually really enjoyed this one, even though it was a little bit like, uh, where do we go? No yellow brick road, or not even a, not even like a, not even like a line to follow, um, like right now. <laughs> but yeah, we figured it out in the end. It was nice to help somebody out. Um, we didn't really spend many credits. We pulled our weight as a freestyle ranger, which was nice. Uh, I wish the persuading movies went a bit better, but. It was what it was. Um, I just pulled me away with it as a freestyle ranger. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll end this one here. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series and everything so far. If you guys are, please do hit the like button. If not, there's always that dislike button right next to that. And subscribe if you guys haven't already. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys all in the next one.
<laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Parker?